Hello guys and welcome to another exciting, exciting, exciting game from the Netrunner Worlds Tournament 2015. My name is Steven. I'm Zach. Hi Zach, how are you? I'm great, how are Other you? People are probably a little surprised that you're on this commentary. Too. I'm surprised I'm on this commentary, but usually happy our Netrunner to be guy, here. But you know what, sometimes Zach wants him a piece. We got Technical Rider coming in for Noah and an Astrolab going down the console. So these guys are kicking it right off. We got Tim Fowler on the left. We've got Noah McKee. Golden Boy on the right. They're moving fast too. I saw a sweep streak early and we're already on the corpse second turn here. We're already in. This is how these games go. And this is going to be a pretty classic Kate versus NEH matchup. I believe that Tim is playing a standard fast advance NEH. Well, Biotic Labor helps to sort that out. Oh There's man, the that choo choo. Choo choo. It's coming in early. That and train gets, is a rolling. He gets the Astro about as early as I can imagine uh, ah. hitting it safely. Let me tell you. And not giving Noah the chance to get an SMC out to threaten the clot. So an early Astro, and the game swings a bit towards Tim as Noah digs through his deck, trying to find an answer. If there is another Astro in hand, Tim Fowler is going to be able to get through here on four points and an Astro counter. He only needs two credits to score it, which he has. So Noah's got to be concerned. He could fish in HQ, try to grab it. He could try to set up a clot play. Instead, plays a prepaid voice pad. Ticks up on Technical Rider. Great piece of tech there from Noah. A lot of K players not adapting quick enough to realize the power of that card. Uh, and then running R&D. And there's the Enigma. So at least making sure that the Astro is not coming down R&D. If it's in hand, he's saying, well, I'll give it to you. You get a zero money, four points. I mean, if you, if you started with two Astros, a sweeps... A biotic labor, a bio like yeah, in the piece of ice, probably a pop-up. Not a pop-up because he would have rezzed it. But sometimes yeah, the fate's just not in your favor. You know. So if that's the case, I, I like the, the check in the top of the deck there. You got to make do, your bets you, before any of this in, unfolded. Would, do you have a, a favorite in the Kate v Neh? Match? Yeah, I think I think Kate is the the best suited to take down Neh, and that's why prepaid Kate in particular because it is uh, it is capable of playing that kind of long term burst economy to get into servers when it needs to. And to hit those maker's eyes and RD interfaces and really control R&D as well as having clot, which is a great answer. Even having sacrificial construct, which can be a great double answer for the clot purge. K just has all the tools. Shaper has all the tools. SMCs, clone chips can keep recurring that clot, make it very hard on any NEH player. And the pad campaign gets res there. So I think Kate has the edge in this matchup. NEH is a lot more comfortable against something like Noise uh, or even the Anarchs like Wizard and Val. Uh, which they don't have as many of the options. So we'll see. We'll see if Kate can can get it done. Noah's got to, he's got, you know, he's digging through his deck a lot, and he's in a position where he needs to get his SMC on the board, get a clone chip on the board, and then have that clawed up for days. And what Tim's doing here is spreading the board out, seeing what Noah's willing to check. And uh, I, I imagine Noah's not going to check a thing. So if Tim were really, really sneaky here, he could try to try to throw one out. Yeah, I think he res the pad campaign there, which shows he didn't have the Astro, obviously. There's the SMC. Which is exactly what you were talking exactly about. Exactly what you're looking for. Now, if if one of those face downs had been an agenda, I mean, Tim is in such a good spot uh, in at the start of that turn. He could have easily snuck one out, but uh, didn't. And a lot of times as NEH, especially against Kate, you have to try to take those opportunities to score. To just get points quick. Just get points quick before they get exactly what we've got here set up. And once we have a clone chip in place, this gets even harder. So what's the what's the card that just got rezzed here that let him draw cards and yeah, put something on the bottom of his deck? I'm loosely familiar. Daily Business Show, just another crazy. Oh, here's a Maker's Eyes. Important uh, scores the Beal here. No and Astra, which is what you no really Astra, want to see. No Astra, leaky R and D gets two points. It's about what you expect at this point of the game from a Maker's Eye. Uh, that is a Daily Business Show down there, and that's another one of those as we call them must trash assets for NBN. It's particularly for NEH since you get to draw a card off the install. Uh, at the start of your turn, you look at the top two, and you can put one on the bottom. That seems really good. Yeah, so you basically are filtering your draw for the rest of the game. Well, not only are you filtering it, but you're also putting things on bottom, specifically, right? Where and there, like there has been situations where players will have a daily business show up for six to seven turns and see at like 75 to 80% of their agendas go right to the bottom of their deck. And a lot of times you don't want that at any age. That isn't, that isn't how that goes. But for a HB deck, for instance, that imports it, you can just take your sweet time knowing that R&D has nothing worth having. Well, I mean, even in any H thing, any H deck, like if you have Jackson Howard, you know you can shuffle your deck at some get point him back in the game. In. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on the position of the game. But if you're in a bad position where your opponent can just 
get in on R&D a lot. I think that's a cool... Yeah, it definitely protects you. Mm-hmm. You notice Noah drawn off that Astrolab. That is a just a hard counter. Another reason that Kate has such an awesome matchup she against She has Cineage. the goods here. Just has the goods. There's the hedge fund. The money is always flowing. Boy, sweeps a week just... Straw that broke the camel's back for this deck. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've been playing this for a long time, and once Sweep Week hit, it was done. Yeah. That that was the economy boost it needed to stay on the fast advance plan. Couldn't really be choked out anymore, and that was that was where why we got to where we are right now. I, I have no doubt. And Noah just continues to draw through, man. He is. So what's he want at this point? Well, so he's got the SMC, so he can make runs you know, without any kind of problem. Now, he's probably looking to establish some more prepaids. He's looking to get another clone chip uh, or a beginning clone chip, the first one on the board. Because what he doesn't want is Tim to install a CVS, Cyberdex Virus Suite, have it face down on the board, and then he goes to fast advance something. Noah brings the clot out with that SMC, which costs money and it wastes the SMC. Now is totally different, by the way. <laughs> to finish that line of thought, then the purge clot. happens from CVS, and then nothing else can happen, and so the, the fast advance goes through. But now we have a clot on the board. Clot goes away when you purge, right? Yes. So you have a manual way of doing that out of any H here. Absolutely. So it's just kind of a dance. Yep. And so what happened here? Noah installs the clot, has the SMC out, has a sack construct out. And then uh, Tim purges virus counters to eliminate the clot, and Noah allows that to happen, which tells me he probably has a clone chip in hand. And there's a lucky find. And look at Kate, just just able to run up the credit totals, and there's the clone chip. All right, all So right, that's exactly right. what that looks like. So clone chip now can go get clot. The purge only leaves you with a sack construct going to the discard pile. Clot stays on the board. So you have to discard that clot twice in a single turn, which is nigh impossible for NEH if they want to try to score out. And so his, his option here is basically install something, force the clot to come out, hope that it's a red herring. Noah goes and checks it. It's nothing like maybe it's a breaking news or something nonsense. Not then you really. purge the, the clot again, and then you're fighting clone chips, hoping that Noah doesn't draw them out. It's, it's a wild, wild time here in, in Fast Advanced Cities Act. Uh, or we can try to do the old-fashioned way here. Make him get out some breakers, put a barrier and a code gate in front of something. Make him play the game. And there's the Ichi. And this is a, just a great, a great piece of ice, as we've seen. The only problem here is that it's not going to force the breaker pull if no one wants to click through it. And that looks fine. like what he's going to do. He's accessing. Accesses that upgrade and sees... Not sure what that was. We will take a look now. It's like a Chrysium grid. Ooh. So he's got some fun tools up in here. There's some serious tricks, and there's another clone chip. So this this is kind of clotted from the start, but Tim has been playing this forever. There are a million tools in EH to work around this. He's going to have to have at least one, maybe two gut check moments with Noah in this game. Uh, you see that first install right there. Right there. And now, it, now it's the check. Now it's the gut check. And because if, if one of those is... Well, I guess he only has five credits. Well, here's the thing, though. There is Shipment from Sansan in this deck. And Shipment from Sansan is an event that says you can put two advancement counters on something for free. And the way that timing structures work in Netrunner, if you play Shipment from Sansan, the active player, which is the corporation, has the next action window and resolves all of their actions at once. So I can shimmer from San San, use the Astro Counter, score the agenda before he even has a chance to act. Oh, wow. So the second I have a card on the table, Noah has to drop the clot or risk the shimmer from San San Astro Counter into another Astro script. Which would have been. Which would have been. And that's exactly what Tim was threatening, and Noah didn't fall for it. And now sees the old school way of hitting that pop up window Enigma, and the SMC is going to have to come out for probably the old Cloud Breaker. Nope, got the Gordian. Makes sense. No, yeah, Noah playing the the longer term game of Gordian Blade. <clears throat> a lot of Kate decks really like Zoo there. No agenda at all. No agenda. Just a total fake. And that's the idea. So, so, but at some point, like if you that keep was doing the gut that, check. At some point, you have to. You've got to. You've got to bite on it. I mean, it's going like to go. He does one, it again this next turn, right? It's like, well, you you got to pop the clot out next turn. I mean, I I there's no reason you've got a clone ship and a sack construct on the board. There's no reason to gamble uh, or risk these points. Just get the clown on the board and let Tim try to deal with that. Now, does him being at three credits, how big of a deal is that here? Like, Well, right now, so Tim Fowler can score from zero money. If he has Shimmer from San San and the Astro Shimmer Counter. Shimmer from zero. It sh- it's zero. Woo. It's two actions for two advancements. It costs nothing. Uh, so he can do that at any point. He's threatening to score at any moment, and he's seen a lot of cards come through. 
Uh, so Noah's got to be aware of that and and take due diligence really here. Man, and there's I another SMC. I haven't played in the post shipment world. Oh, it's. I'll tell you what, man. It's it's an arms race. And watching watching Kate versus NEH, this matchup just changes slightly every single week leading up to Worlds. One tech card against another tech card against another tech card. Wow. And the hope, I think, ultimately with Clot and, and this kind of dance was that it would be enough to make both Kate and NEH a little bit more watered down and therefore a little less effective. Uh, but as we've seen, it didn't really hurt their overall percentage compared to other decks in the field. They still were quite a bit on top. Uh, from a lot of players' perspectives. So uh, just just resilient decks can have those two to three silver bullet cards and answers and still function just fine outside of those matchups. Quite impressive. And there's what we see right there, the install and the Shimmer from San San oh, into man. Astro. Caught him right there. Woo. And uh, what more can you say? And look at Tim. Super happy about that when you saw a little celebration uh, fist there. Yeah. He's up up four to two here at this point. Hasn't an Astro count. And now that, that, that threat is still on the board for the rest of the game. That threat is going to be there. Anytime you see an install, there's going to have to be a, a clot check here. And, uh, and Noah, I mean, So, like, even if they do put the clot out there, right, the clot stays there until... Until they purge. Until they purge. So yeah. they've already installed, so they can't purge this turn. Correct. Yeah, they got to they gotta deal with it. And you get into some funky flying here with uh, these clot matchups. And I'm sure we'll see even more of that. Another technical rider comes into play. And Tim getting his money. That pad campaign has been doing work the entire game. Probably netted him about 10 credits by Way now. Way more money than it, it needs to. It's pretty wild, isn't it? When it's you really, so crazy. When right? you really do the math on these cards, uh, there's some good exchanges happening. And we have an install, Astrolab draw, and now we are going to, looks like, bring the clot out. Yeah, you can't have that another Astro train hit. Can't have it happen, no. Clot me. All right, and so now it's a it's a question of clone chips versus clots. How long is this going to last? Can and, Tim just and he purge, purge, it. purge, he purge? He protects it, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, now he protects it. So... You know, it's like, okay, let's say that's a barrier. Let's say it's a wall of static. You got to get in, and you got to go see You got to pop your SMC, so you're slowly building your rig, purge the clot next turn, you maybe sat constructs it, maybe he just pulls it out again with clone ship, your next install. And uh, the problem with Kate is that you can play this game essentially forever, uh, because what's happening is you're going to let the AR your deck back into itself. Uh, so you're going to get all man. three of those clone ships back. And... Uh, Looks like taking advantage. Yeah, exactly. Taking advantage of the end of the turn here, using Kate's ability on both phases, the corp turn and the runner turn. So getting a minus one discount work, and only costing him six credits to get that Otman four instead of seven, and can call the Eli here. Oh man, nothing but a pop up. up. And And a Jackson, Jackson Howard, getting used. Yep, gotcha. Just classic. Now, he can put Shimmer from San San right back in and keep the threats going. Oh, yeah. Now, he's also got to, you know, you might see these NEH turns. Sometimes it's install, install, install. And unless Noah Play decides to check Pick all of door. them, uh, you could just sneak an agenda out that way. This is really... Pretty pay voice pad. Classic Netrunner. It classic really Netrunner. is. This is this is the quintessential green versus yellow matchup. I, 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 just, I feel like I'm watching a dance, right? Like It is a dance. I don't even know. There's so much more going on technically in the dance, and yes. it's just a beauty to watch. It's a daily business show. And looking at the top two, you get to put one on bottom. Seems good. Pretty easy decision there. What did he put on bottom? Don't know. Didn't see him. Uh, he just made but it quickly. He, he was quick. Yeah, he was quick about it. Man knows what he wants. And then purges. So the clock goes away. One clone chip on the board. And that clone ship is going to be worth two clots because of Sacrificial Construct. And that means that, you know, we could have a CVS turn. We could threaten some things. Maker's Eye. And here's the Maker's Eye. Only costs nothing because of those prepaid voice pads. See what we get. We see one card. He's got some money. I think it's a sand sand. It does look like a sand sand. I've been told time and again, trash the sand sand. Well, you know what? In today's meta... I don't know if that's true anymore. It's just not really as true. There's a CVS. Oh, man. And, and so lucky that that clot is not out right now. When that card is accessed, it automatically purges virus oh, counters. Oh, man. So, so Noah kind of really, really rooting that out at the right time. Had his last clot been on the board, there would have been some tough decisions to be made. But ultimately got no, none points. None points. Nope. Lady. And here's Lady. So we got barriers taken care of. We've got that Ichi taken care of. We've got code gates taken care of. 
The only thing that would hurt right now is something like a roto turret. But we also have clone ship and. Are you really expecting roto turret? No, on no, no. It wouldn't be. But it would be awesome. I mean, but but it would be Bugatti. You know, that's why <laughs> you think about certain that's pieces of ice right? that often aren't the best, but for given matchups and situations. And that's so why, it's a surprise factor. That's why sometimes you'll see one wall of static over three Eli's, where it's like, I'll take two Eli's and a wall of static instead, because Altman 4 takes care of Eli, but doesn't take care of wall of static. And a lot of people not even wanting to do, install a barrier breaker. That's wild. Yeah, pretty cool. It's the game we play. That's really what the net's all about, you know? It's about antiviruses, viruses, it's about hackers and, and defense. It's it's as real as it ever was outside the game and then also when you get to the table. And uh, Noah having a great setup here to fight off any age. Now all he has to do is just sit back and find the points, which is often which can uh, be harder, harder, harder to do than you think. Harder than expected, yeah. He really is owed about two, I think, number of accesses he's gotten so far. Uh, but you also got to remember he can't check archives or he risks the purge. So right now he's safe, but once that clock comes out, uh, there could be, you know, agendas hidden over there. And it and would be already. very tough for him to check that. There's a quality time. How about draw five for free? Four free. What do you think about that? Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. The numbers work, don't they? Feels like, so essentially a card and a click for five cards? That's uh, exactly what you're looking at, yeah. If every exchange you made in the game a Netrunner was that exchange, I think you'd be doing it. We wouldn't even hey, have a game. Okay, it wouldn't be a game. It would be a slaughter fest. And now Noah really kind of just looking how he's going to set himself up to run through this late game. He's almost in levy territory. He's got all of his prepaids out. He's been through a lot of lucky finds. When you use levy, levy goes away, right? Levy goes away. It's removed from the game, but you get everything in your discard pile back in and draw five cards. Seems good. There's dirty laundry over to archives because the clot thread is not real. There's an R&D interface. Going to make this maker's eye hit four and also get two off the top static. And then pop in the technical rider for some money. That's just an action. Doesn't take a, uh, a click. And... I feel like he's getting set up for a levy here. He is. Use get, all the goods. He's getting things used up. Yep. Man, this is this is next level. This is we I haven't have seen Kate in this way. We have an install into Daily Business Show. He's going to give Noah the chance to bring the clot out. He's got to take it. Decision time. You can't let him get six points. Yep, there it goes. Hey, I don't think it's worth the risk. You're about to get your clone chips back with a levy. Use it. And here it goes. It's clotted. And we see how, it, Matt, you remember the world where this wasn't possible. I do remember the world. That's the world I've most recently lived Isn't in. Isn't that insane? How did anybody beat NEH? That's a good question. I, I, it's, it's kind of absurd to think about. Kind of obscene, really. All right, so we have a uh, install, and then we have, looks like, sweep double sweeps week. That is a decent amount of money. Just a ton of cash. And now you got to wonder, okay, Dirty Laundry on R&D, going to pay two to break without my four? Trace can fire if he wants. That's really good. And are we spending money on this Trace? It's a weird, weird world we're living in. I... What's the Trace do on Ichi? Well, it gives you a tag and it gives you brain damage. Okay. Getting rid of that, that levy? Boy, if he does get the levy here, that, that pretty much seals this game. He may be looking for a shot at the levy. Tag and maybe a levy. Man, what if he gets it? Doesn't get it. Grabs the legwork instead. We don't know that he has the levy in hand, but we assume. And I'm sure that's what Tim was looking to do. And that is a great play. I love the attitude there to try to pull that levy out. Because if he hits hey, you it, you have money. Like it's he, not like you need the money. If he happens to hit that levy, it, it's it way probably. Down. I think it's the game. I think you lose the game at that point because there's one clone chip left, and you can just start clearing clots until you fast advance the game out. That is such a cool play. I, I missed that <laughs> whenever I saw this live. So good. Questions answered. And now he's got a tag, too. So you got to think, is this an NEH deck that has some weird... And there's the levy. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately the playing lesson. it now. Yeah, learning the lesson. Yeah, there. not risking it anymore. I, are you going to ask if it has Scorch? I don't think so. No, I don't think it has Scorch. But, you know, you could always see that weird closed accounts. You could always see that one of closed accounts. A lot of closed accounts will get you. A lot of Val decks play in Tag Me in this tournament, and you saw NEH one closed account. Sometimes they'd have uh, like a Psychographics in case there's two tags on, 
and that wouldn't matter so much because of the clot that is in play and, and that's a fast advance tool but I'll tell you what that close accounts could be a real problem uh, slowing Noah down and giving a, a scoring window there and we've got more drawing here and rinse and repeat Noah just playing he's playing the control game and now you know he's it's a, it's a long clock but he is on it ultimately he's got another deck to work through and we're going to dirty line to that remote, see if we if we trapped an agenda over there. And it, it was an oh, agenda, wow. but only 15 minutes. It's going to be able to shuffle it right back into the corpse deck for a single click. That is hilarious. Definitely worth the risk. That blows my mind that that's a card. Can you believe it? <laughs> that's all, so yeah, it came the corpse can spend a click to shuffle it into the deck? Yep. That's incredible. Yep, so you got one point for now, but it can disappear. It's your 15 minutes of fame, you know? Yeah, but if it was your seventh point, it would be just enough. It'd be pretty important. That is Wildcats, right. man. Tim draws his card. He's gonna looks like he's gonna shuffle back in, and what that also does, it gives you a shuffle of the deck. So anything that he put down with daily business show that he might want to draw out is now possibly back at the it's top. Now of the possibly forehead. back at the top, which can be good or bad, and it can also get you out of R and D lock. Keep that in mind too. If somebody's seen the top five off a of medium, you can shuffle that back in and hope to draw into your agenda. And it also immediately kind of shuts down like an indexing, right? Yep. 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 That's an incredible agenda. It's pretty cool, right? All right, we got an install. And then we're going back over. Lucky Find starts it off for Noah. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Does he keep checking that remote? Oh, man, the Makers. makers this is a, Here we this go. Is this is going to be a good deep. one. It's going to be a good one. Right out on a fresh shuffle, shuffle too. Yeah, I can tell. It's a good shuff. There's a toll booth. Toll booth. Nothing. Nothing. And he sees one more. And there it is, got uh, the deal. All right, so R and D interface saving the pooch there. That's why he gets points, it. and he's going to check. He goes and checks the remote and sees nothing but trash. So Tim's doing his best to try to misdirect here, try to get him off balance. But I'll tell you what, with that clot just sitting out, and then Tim purges. Boom, there it is. You got to work through it. But now look, look, we have an opportunity potentially if Noah doesn't hit a clone chip here. That clot is off the table, and there's a scoring window open. And you notice Noah diesels and then draws. Draws again, yeah, does he's, not he's see the clone chip. got to try to get ship. it, doesn't get it. He doesn't get the clone ship. He's going to spend uh, a couple of prepaid credits for dirty laundry. He's getting money. Tim has his opportunity here. If he has the Astro in hand or even uh, a Beal in hand here, it would be critical. And he's going at hand. He's trying to pluck it. Got to pluck it. And Didn't there's the toll it. booth instead. All right. You've got to imagine Tim has it here. No does clot he? on the table. No clot possible. Looks through his hand. Install, Install. to draw. Does he and have it? No, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it, man. Is that, did he install it, though? No, no he he's doesn't. Drawing. Oh, oh, my no. goodness. That's where you have to have it right there. That's that's how tight these games are. You have to have... All right, and he's installing there. I'm sorry, but you have to have it right there, Zach. You got to have mean, it. There's nothing you can do about it, you know? But, like, that, that is the moment that any AG wins or loses this game. again after all those draws. Yeah, and there's a, there's a breaking news. I'll, we need one more, There's right? the CVS. So, again, doing nothing. We need one more. And there's the NAPD. That's, That's the it. game. Wow, what a remarkable game. So I suppose it didn't really matter, you know, if you saw that Astro there at the end. But, man, what a game. It's exactly what you expect from Cade and NEH. Expertly played. Noah McKee on the right. Tim Fowler on the left. Just the caliber of play here is, is excellent. It's a pleasure to see these guys taking it so seriously and being so good at this game. So insanely impressively good. It is impressive. We are Team Kevin, and thank you guys for watching. We have data tokens for sale. Noah is using them on the right side of the board. Check those out if you're interested. And we also have data pack subscriptions where we will send you automatically every time a package release goes right to your doorstep, and it's quite reasonable on the price as well. So check those out. Thank you for watching. We got more coming. Thanks, guys.